Francina, we're talking princess, and happy Sunday. Kelly and I just got back from a weekend camping trip and had packages waiting, so here we go. This will be a Vera Bradley haul. It is mostly from the recent online outlet sale, and there were some amazing deals there. Now, I didn't even get the best ones, but I did get some good ones, and as always, I'll put the pricing what I paid down below in the remarks. And there are a couple of items at the end that are from the retail side as well. So here goes. The first thing I got is six pens. These are actually factory style pens. Um, but the reason I got so many, there's only two patterns, three of each. I got the Tropics Tapestry. I got these because when I do get sick and I have to go to the hospital, which happens, it's a fact of my life, unfortunately. Um, I spend like a month in there at a time and so I like to bring something to give to the nurses So I when these are on sale and they're good deals I try to stock up on some of them so that I have something that I can give them away. But anyways, this one is a beautiful Blues and purples in a floral pattern. So this one is obviously very feminine Some are a little less feminine. For example this next one I got which is Go Fish Teal. And this, um, let me make sure I didn't say it. Go Fish Blue, sorry, not Teal. Go Fish Teal was the retail side, um, but Go Fish Blue was the factory style, the, the outlet style. So this one is, it looks very similar to Bluefish, Go Fish Teal though. It's, it's just fishies. So this one is kind of, to me, it's a gender neutral pen. So I got three of each of these pens. And I think I already have one for me, so if not, I will capture one for myself and put the rest in the gift pile for future. Not just for hospital stuff, but I mean, they're great gifts like, oops, I forgot my friend's birthday, here's a nice pen, you know, something. So you never go empty-handed, right? Um, okay, this next item is an all-in-one crossbody. Um, sorry, RFID all-in-one crossbody. And this one is in the mini concerto pattern in purple with white. It is, hi Kelly. <laughs> hi. Hello. Yes, I know, I know. Licky, licky. Ah, ah, off the table, sweetie. Okay, go. Go, girl. Ah, go later. <laughs> She's so happy to be home. Okay, so this one is from Northwestern University. I don't have any affiliation whatsoever with that university. However, I do love purple. And so I figured I would just put a patch over that and so that I would have a purple, but then something like a Tokidoki patch or a Vera patch or something that would match purple and white. I haven't figured out the patch yet. Um, but this is a different layout than the other all-in-ones that I have. So I'm actually kind of glad I got it um, because it is a little different. I had thought, because I'd never seen one in person because these aren't normally carried at the stores, um, but I thought this was just a long flap and that the embroidery was on the flap. It's actually not. There is no flap. The outside is slick on both sides. There's no flap at all. So this first pocket is um, a little different. It has like the normal wallet layout that the all-in-ones have. You have your clear ID and four more card slots and you have one, two, three, four, five more card slots there. Both sides have two vertical slots behind, or sorry, this side has one, this side has two. And then you have your cash drawer up top. So that's the same, but on this side, this is where your phone actually goes, rather than in that outside flat pocket. So here's my 6S Plus with the Vera case, and it does fit very, very nicely right into that slot. Um, I really would prefer that flap, it's just easier, quicker access, but this isn't bad. Um, except that I'm right-handed and this would be on my left side. It's okay. Yeah, I kind of just wish it was on the other side because I'm right-handed, but anyways. Yeah, so if I open it the way I would open it, it would be on the left, so. Yeah, that's okay though. I will still keep it and I will still use it. So that's that side. The back part is I don't know why that zipper is a little stiff, but the back side, it doesn't have a lot of card slots like some of the versions do, but it has two big slips, two big spaces, and then the coin thing right in the middle. And it's, you know, gusted on the side just like normal. So fairly simple layout actually on this one, but 
There you go. It does still, just like the others, it has a removable wristlet strap and it comes with an adjustable crossbody strap that is also removable. And this was stored in that little foam section. So I'm just gonna put it back there for now. And try not to zip all the tags in the zipper. <laughs> That's always sucks. Okay, anyways, so I got that. And I also got the Zip ID and Lanyard, which comes as a pair, a set. You know, they weren't, I didn't buy them separately. Um, so I got the purple and the same thing, it's the same N on there. Um, so I just need to figure out what I'm gonna do with it. But otherwise, same, same. And then while we're talking about zip IDs and lanyards, I did get two other lanyards because I have way more zip IDs than I do lanyards. But I've also bought a bunch of denim stuff. So I got the factory style denim in a Moonlight Navy. And this one comes with the old style clip on it. And then I got the retail side denim, which is, I think it's called Denim Navy. Uh, but this one has the newer style clip on it, which is actually not my preference, but c'est la vie. So I have a denim in the darker and the lighter. And so this will match with a lot of zip IDs that I already have. And that's cool. Um, so denim kick continues. Um, since I've got several denim bags now, I went ahead and got the um, RFID Riley compact wallet. And this is in the denim navy. Um, and obviously I'm showing it to you upside down, sorry. So these ones have uh, 10 card slots here. So you've got five and five. Then you have three more going this way. You have your clear ID window. Then you have two big slips plus a zipper pocket. And that's the inside. It holds a lot and it has two snaps. So it does have some built-in expandability and they work great. I have a bunch of these. There's a slip pocket on the outside and then there's the coin slot as well, right here. So that's great. And since I was getting one of those, the Hawthorne Rose one, which is a microfiber, is was, was a great deal. And I thought this would go really well with the mold wine. I know, baby, hi. Ah, don't put your foot up there. You've got some bad habits. Yeah, licky, licky. I know, I just got a shower. Go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, um, but... But I thought even though it's a little bit paler than the mold wine, I still think it'll go pretty well. And so this is an old uh, retail side microfiber. You can see the double diamond. That's a good clue that it was retail versus factory. Not that it matters. And then you've got the denim, which has the newer style of microfiber type stitching, which is the micro diamond. So kind of a mix there. Yeah, but this is exactly the same wallet. It actually has the same interior as well. Because that was the retail side microfiber type interior and they used it on the denim too. All right, um, back to the denim though. So I got the accordion wristlet here. And this one is kind of like the Midtown wristlets as well. So what it is, it's, uh, it's the accordion style. You have a slip on the outside. You have a removable wristlet strap. It's one section, but you have um, kind of a mirror image. You have two big slips, and then you have two card slots here, two card slots here. Let me take that out. Two card slots here, two card slots here. You have a clear ID window. You have a middle section that's a, a gap, and then you have the big space. And then you have the zipper pocket right here. So you can put your phone in here. You can put it in any of the three main gap sections, middle or the two sides. Um, and I usually put it on the one side because again, I'm right-handed, so I put it on that side. But then it does close around there. Ooh, my other ones do. Yeah, it does. It's a little bit tight in, in the width direction because my phone just barely fits that way, but it does fit. Even with the wallet loaded, I haven't stretched the wallet to capacity though. Um, and this will loosen up just a little because it is denim, so there's a little give there as well. Um, and then I also got, uh-oh. This is the shopping, or loyalty tag bag charm. I have one of these, I, I have it in my bag all the time, 
but I thought since they were there and since they were on sale, I went ahead and grabbed one more as a backup because eventually this will wear out or I'll lose it or whatever. So, and how this works is it's just it's a keychain, but it has inside it has this little elastic with a T bar on it, and so you just thread that through your little tags. And it can hold a lot of them, a dozen or so, I think. And then you also have two little slips on the two sides, which I don't use for anything at all because I want to maximize my little card capacity. So I got that, and I'm just going to leave it in the plastic for now because it's my backup. And that way, hopefully it'll just stay more protected until I need it. Da -da. Okay. Other things in denim, I got a Iconic 100 handbag in the denim navy. I do have a couple of these, uh, maybe just a couple, not a lot. But it's a, it's a nice little satchel, it has a little drop handle so you can carry it over the crook of your arm. Um, if you're super petite, you maybe could put that all the way up to your shoulder, totally not the case for me. But it does have these hinged spots on the bottom, so when you're not using those, they lay flat. And it does have a removable adjustable crossbody strap as well. So here that is right here. Um, yeah, so you can take it off and then you have the loops there. It has three sections. It has the main section, which is kind of like a little duffel purse. This is very stiff with this denim. It does have a semi-rigid bottom. I don't even say semi-rigid. There's something in there to give it some structure on the bottom, but then it's folded right down the middle. Um, yeah, so there's no end pockets, but there are two side pockets up here, and they, they zip in opposite directions, which I'm sure is purposeful, and these have no organization, but there, so there's a big pocket here, and a matching one in the back, so yeah, there's one and the other. And then there is a slip pocket here in the back, which is where I do put my phone, even though it sticks out. It's, it's pretty secure in there. I mean, it'll wobble a bit, but it's easy in and out. So that's what I do with it. And then the main pocket, you also have your privacy zipper pocket here. And you have two slips on the front side, right? Where are they? Can't see them with that pattern, but there you go. Right there. So there's one and there's two. It is like a nylon, kind of a crinkly nylon material. Okay. So that's the Iconic 100 handbag. It's kind of like a small duffel type satchel purse. And then the last thing I got in denim, I got a medium cosmetic. And this one is in the ones from Lavender Meadow. It's still called Denim Navy. It doesn't say anything about Lavender Meadow, but it's the one that had all those pretty purple flowers and the ladybugs. And this is embroidered on there. So this is like an old style medium cosmetic. It's just the cosmetic. The tag is actually on the back and the embroidery is on the front. And then the inside is those adorable ladybugs as well. And there's a couple leaves and little flowers in there too. But a nice light interior. It is plastic coated, so. Yeah, nice little cosmetic to add to the denim stuff. And I also got a phone case. Oh my goodness, I'm dropping everything today. Okay, so this phone case is in Fruit Grove. It's, it'll fit my 6S Plus. It is a clear see-through one, but it has strawberries, cherries, watermelon, and some... Ouch, Kelly, go, go lay down. <laughs> She's clawing at my leg because she wants up. I don't know why. It's okay. I think she thinks I'm leaving. Ah, okay, come on. Come on. You wanna just sit there and do the show with mama? Ah, don't put your foot up on the table. But yeah, so watermelon, cherries, strawberries, and flowers. I just thought that would go good with all my fruit growth stuff. And then one of my favorite wallets from Vera Bradley is the Ultimate Wristlet. So I got one in Santiago Woven. <laughs> These were on super sale. Um, they were, there was a bunch of different ones and there were some that were cheaper, but I had pretty much all the patterns. I chose not to get the Santiago floral because it was just too light colored. This one had enough darker stuff to kind of hide the dirt because they do get dirty because you're in your hands all the time and they are cotton. 
and they have the faux leather trim. But what I like about these, okay, the wristlet strap is not removable. I don't necessarily love that part about it, but it's okay because it's a zipper pull. Um, the front part is a push lock opening, and this has like plastic protector stuff on there. But So the push lock opening, and you can see there's a beautiful Santiago interior with the flowers and the navy background. And then in the middle, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten card slots in the vertical there. And then two clear IDs plus a big slip behind that. Great, great wallet, a lot of capacity. I can, or I used to always put my phone in here because even when it's full, it closes tight enough that I mean, my phone really stays in there well. I mean, I'm really shaking that and my phone's not coming out. So when you put cards in there and then do that, it's even tight, tighter. So, but they will loosen up just a little bit. It'll still be fine. And then the back section, it has um, a big slip on this side. And the other side, it has three card slots and three card slots. And then the middle is your coin space. Yeah, so your phone also does fit in the back section as well. So if you're worried about it falling out, just put it in the zipper part of it. So I have lots of these <laughs> because I really do like them. If you're, if you're going just wallet only, this is to me a great grab and go option. And I got the same wallet in the Cuban tiles, you know, the blues and teals. I don't know why I didn't get this one before. I guess just because I have nothing really to match with it. But I do think it will go with the navies. It could probably go with some of the denim stuff. Maybe not perfectly, but the inside is just the lighter teal hash. But the same style. Everything's the same. Except the color. Okay. And then I got a... What's this called? The Change It Up Crossbody. I have the Change It Up Backpack. I have just one. Um, but I don't have any of these. And I think it's a good size. I would say it's like mailbag size. And... The configuration is different though, obviously. This is an Indio, the pattern Indio, which again goes with the denims, it goes with the navies, and I do have some Indio items, um, but I just really like it. Yeah. So it does have a, a sort of hidden pocket right here. There's this little itty bitty zipper and a pocket. And this pocket, oh my goodness, it actually, this pocket basically is from right here to right here. It is a big pocket, even though it's just this little side entry. It's like, look, my hand is all the way here, and there's my fingertip. Wait, if I go to the corner, it's actually all the way in the corner. Yeah, so that's a nice big pocket. Most likely I would put just my phone in there, but we'll see. Um, there's no pockets on the back and no other secret spots. So that's it for the outside of it. Um, but it's an interesting bag because it has this crossbody or shoulder strap. It's a soft woven, so it's, I mean like sort of uh, like canvas type versus a seatbelt strap type. So it's a little softer, not quite as nylon-y. The fixtures are metal, but they're black, like a matte black, which I don't recall that on my other Indio stuff actually. So that's kind of interesting. But let me just put it all the way out for a second. Because I'm a big girl and I like it long. And let's see how it fits crossbody. Where's the front? That's the front. Yeah, so, yeah, I would say all the way out is just right for my height that I like it. Right there. But I like that you can just grab the handles too. So when you're transferring it in the car, in and out of the car, or grabbing it to move around, you can grab it by the handles. This long strap is also removable. So these loops on the end are quick release. So there it is right there. So it's a quick release. So you can actually take these straps, the strap completely off. You can leave the loop behind if you so desire so you can hang things on it or you can take the whole loop out. And these handles are like hinged handles. They have a faux leather sort of reinforcement on them and and they have this loop in the middle that lets it hinge on both sides it doesn't rotate truly but when you grab the handles together they have enough give. it's just really easy to grab and it's comfortable to grip um, there is oh now I said my phone in the pocket I didn't realize there's a pocket right here a slip right at the top of the bag one of those hidden pockets on top 
That is probably my phone pocket, actually. So maybe I'll put my keys in the other pocket, my phone here. There's no magnetic closure on this, but my phone is all the way down here. So there's this much space above it. So it's not going anywhere. I really kind of like this. Okay, so, and this is kind of interesting because the zipper is recessed, obviously because of where the handles are. So it's right below that, but you have a zipper closure on the bag. Oh, you kind of got to grab a hold of that end. It's kind of a tricky, tricky angle to get it started. But So there's your zipper. But if you want to just leave it open, which I might do for day to day, there actually is also a magnet there. See that? So there's a magnet closure as well. And I'm not sure why it has both. I don't know. That's interesting. But inside you have two slip pockets with your splash dot interior. And then on the other side, you have a privacy pocket with the zipper. So yeah, I don't know, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, we'll do what's in my bag coming up soon. Well, I say soon, you know, everything is soon. I don't know. We shall see whenever the rotation hits. The last item I got from the online outlet is a mail bag, speaking of. The mailbag, and this is a Carson mailbag in the denim navy. So looking at the size I was talking about, um, it is slightly smaller because your functional bag space only goes up to here and they both stay on the same height in total. Um, so the mailbag will have a little bit more capacity overall, I think. Um, it also has a thicker depth to it in this direction. So the mailbag is definitely gonna hold more, but Relatively speaking, I would definitely put them in the same category. So this one has a phone pocket in the back, a slip, and it, it is wide. It has like two extra inches next to my phone, and my phone is one finger width down. So it's just right. I can grab it right away pretty easily. Um, and it's a faux leather trim on the top edge of that whole side, even though the pocket is only part of that width. On the front, obviously you have your flap and that is also trimmed. There's no trim around the main bag, but the trim on the flap is um, that faux leather type trim. It is a magnetic snap and inside here you have one big flap space. You know, some of the mail bags have two, like if there's a separation, this one doesn't, it's just one big flap. And then inside you have your zipper. This is the awful metal zipper, c'est la vie. You got your loop faux leather zipper pull. And then you do have, it just comes with one strap, not two. So you just have your longer adjustable shoulder crossbody strap. And then you could change the strap because it is obviously totally removable. And you can use shorter straps. You can use other straps like decorative ones or put a patterned one on if you want to mix it up a bit. And since it's denim, you can match just about anything with it, honestly. Inside you have a privacy zipper pocket and then on the front, pretty, pretty standard for all these bags, you have two slip pockets. So there you go. That's the Carson mail bag. Okay, so that's it for the online outlet. I did get a couple of items. My, well, I ordered a lot of fish stuff as you've seen. But my friend wanted to order a couple of items, so I placed an order for her, and in order to get free shipping, we put the her order and my order together to meet the threshold, so it worked out well. But I'll just show you my items. I got the ballpoint pen, which of course is sealed, so I'm not gonna open it up. Ah, my nails aren't sharp. Oh, okay, sorry. I can't open it. Um, Metal click pen, it's called now, but it's a ballpoint pen in Paisley Wave. It does have black ink, sorry about that. It's a, what is that, Lug Live show, I think. <laughs> Not watching. All right, but it has the, the fish and the Paisley Wave and the blues and teal. So this is the new retail side pen pattern. And then I also got the one size fits most. Um, these are the no-show socks. Like the little booty socks, what do they call them? Low cut liners, three pack. There you go, low cut liners. 
Um, so the first pair is teal and has the fishies all over it. And then the second one has small fish, small fishies and like a school of fish. And then the third one is like a blue, like a cornflower blue with yellow and white stripes. So nice assortment of those. And that's all I ordered. But I also got a little surprise in my bag. It's a little box, right? And what it is, is nail files, like little emery boards. And I don't know how many there are in here. It doesn't say on the thing. But there's three across. So you can see the, the height of them. You can see one, two, three. And so together, they form the pattern. But there is, I don't want to mix up all the patterns because they're so cute all stacked up. Let me see if I can do this. Oh my, there's a lot of them in here. And they are, I'll show you in just a sec. How many more? Oh my goodness. Two more rows? Three more rows. So three, nine, maybe 18 of them? Is that right? Three, no, 15 of them. One, two, three. No, these are too thick. Yeah, I can't count them. It's deceptive because they look like doubles, but they're stacked. Okay, so nine of them. They're they're double thick. But look, when you have them lined up next to each other, they make the pattern or part of the pattern. It looks like it's all the same pattern cut on both sides. So that's cool. That's really cool. So nine. And they look, here, let me grab just one of them. So they're two-sided, but they look thick. That's why I was having trouble counting because I didn't realize that was one, not two. Um, I think they're both fine grade. It doesn't feel like there's a thick and a thin, you know, coarse and fine. They feel, maybe, I think fine and fine. Uh, yeah, so that's really cute. I did not expect that. And the box, actually, the picture on the box is what the pattern on the files looks like all together. So that's cool. Okay, so that's it for this haul. Hope you had a great weekend and look forward to a wonderful week ahead. Best wishes. Washi washi. Bye for now.